it would be my concern if I was to start smoking. It would be my concern to make sure I get a product that is what I think it's supposed to be. It has been an issue among cannabis users since the beginning. What the heck is in the stuff people are smoking? But now with recreational marijuana use on Ohio's ballot next month, our new series, Marijuana in Ohio, shows you a scientific lab answering that very question. Michigan and other states have had legal recreational use for people 21 years of age and up for years now. With that comes strict testing of marijuana before it's even sold. News 5 investigator Jonathan Walsh takes us through the intense inspections of cannabis samples that are done inside a state certified Michigan lab. Uh, I, feel, I feel like it's, it's unnecessary to buy weed off the streets. Jarrell Hentz has used black market buds in the past, but now he's buying it in Michigan stores and not going back to the streets. Because everybody is doing everything with it now, like they, they might be lacing it with fentanyl or anything that's crazy, and I don't want anything to do with that. That's where... The, the black market just leads to a lot of problems. People like Avi Zalin... It's probably one of the most uh, tested consumer products that there is. And his company, Steadfast Labs, step in. We started out in 2015, very small, 700 square foot lab. Now we have a 7,000 square foot lab. We've learned quite a few things along the way. Steadfast sends employees out to get samples from its clients growing and making cannabis products. They test for yeast, mold, E. coli, salmonella, and what are called clean rooms. So that we know that we are not, anything we measure is coming from the, the customer and not from us. They have a cryogenic process to break down the samples. Use liquid nitrogen. The samples are dunked into the liquid nitrogen below minus 70 degrees C, where they're pulverized into a fine powder. That is then dissolved, and the lab extracts things like cannabinoids and terpenes. The terpenes have a big effect on the consumer experience and the actual potency of cannabis. So it's a combination of cannabinoids and terpenes. It's actually called the entourage effect. Some Michigan residents wonder about pesticides used in making legal pot. My concern is they do spray them, I, mean, I don't know the process, but they can add um, ingredients and shouldn't have been there. Steadfast uses these high-tech machines to test for 60 different pesticides. And in this back room, the pot powder that's pulverized in the lab is inspected for heavy metals like lead, cadmium, arsenic. And amongst all the high-end machinery, the vast technology, the hard science, Sometimes you just have to look at your product, and they do that here, too. Any mold visible? Is there any um, inorganic matter, like pieces of gloves or the trellis net or anything like that? And extensive data on all of the testing is sent to the state. They look at all your methods with the fine-tooth comb, and they make sure that they are going to work um, in the real world on a repeatable basis and something that they can audit and they can rely on. It's a complex process that customers like Jarrell are thankful for. Uh, I want to come to where I know the weed is grown properly and I can smoke it and have a good effect. I'm News 5 investigator Jonathan Walsh. Huh. At last check, Michigan has 25 facilities licensed to do safety checks for both medicinal and recreational marijuana products. This is just the second installment of our Marijuana in Ohio series. We will continue to look at the impacts of legalization leading all the way up to Election Day.